Hey, Kim, I am probably one of the biggest Disney fans out there. Really? I think we should take a quiz and find out. Oh, uh, really? Do we, ha we have to? Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Nonsensicality, where apparently we're going to find out how big of a Disney fan I am, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> which um, I have to say, I'm probably not. I'm probably not that big of a Disney fan uh, as far as like if, if you were to quiz me, which I have a feeling is what's coming up. Well, I, I hold in my hands a quiz. Because the truth is like I have we have friends. You and I have friends. And like if if. If a Disney song comes on and it's playing, like they know all the words. Yes. And I'm just like, find me. You know, I'm like uh -huh. that. Uh, I bet you don't even know what song that was. That was from um, Moana. Okay, so you know better than me. But anyway, so I, I don't, I don't know characters' names very, very well, and even in some of my favorite movies, I don't always remember names the details. Of, yeah, I'm, I, I like the 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 overall content. Um, I'm kind of almost ADD in my entertainment. It's like I I enjoy it, but I'm not going to pay a lot of attention to detail. I think you're uh, going to fail this quiz miserably. Right. Actually, are we going to do the sound effects again? Like uh, yes. Okay, so if I get it right. Uh-huh. Which we're going to hear a lot of. Yeah. Uh, uh And if I get it wrong... I think you'll hear more of that. Oh, why are you doing this to me? Before we get started, I feel like I need to clarify something. What? Um Because I had a friend who, who did like a FaceTime live chat with me <laughs> last week. <laughs> this is so funny. And I realized... And Goose, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing <laughs> to him over the air. Because he's, he and I, I mean, like, bef you know, before the whole quarantine and all that, we'd see each other at least once a week. And <laughs> so, okay, let me let me back it up a little bit. Okay. Our first broadcast from within our new apartment, I said, as they call it across the pond, a flat, which I just like the term flat. flat. But the way I said it, my friend interpreted it as that we moved across the pond. And I started thinking, I'm like, oh, yeah, I might not have clarified that very well. We do not live in, in England, as, as fun he, as that would be. Didn't he call and ask you what time he it was He's like, oh, I'm sorry, what time is it there? I'm like, same time it is where you are, I think. Where are you? And he's like, well, I'm in Missouri. And I'm like, so am I. Oh, you said you moved across the pond. I'm like, oh, I know what happened. <laughs> so I apologize to my friend Goose about that for the false alarm. But we, we don't. We still live in Missouri. Missouri. It's just we've moved to another city in Missouri <laughs> and we're in the same time zone. But we do live in an apartment now as opposed to a house. And so I like calling it a flat. So there we go. There it is. In case other people are like, wow, they moved to London. Didn't tell anybody. No. So, all right. So uh, I've prolonged this quiz as much as possible. Yes, you have. It's a beautiful day out. We should go out. And no, we're weather. going to take a Disney quiz. Okay. All right. And, and I, I encourage whoever's listening, take the quiz too. try to keep track of your score so you can see how big of a fan you are. And then you can let us know, you know, hop on to uh, our social media at Camptown Media and just, you know, direct message us your score. Or you can go on the website, camptownmedia.com and do the contact form on that. And just tell us what you how well you did on this and see if you beat me. I'm and you pretty can do a confident. brag post. They will beat you. OK. OK, here you go. Here's an easy one. Okay. Mickey and Minnie. Yes. Everyone loves Mickey and Minnie. Yes. They weren't always named Mickey and Minnie. Yes. What were they originally named? Well, Mickey was Mortimer. Okay. Uh, and his mom, Walt Disney's mom, suggested he change it to Mickey. So I know that one. Okay. Mortimer uh, and... Wow, I didn't know Minnie had a different name. Okay, you want some? You want some options? Sure, give me give me three choices, multiple okay. or how many choices? I'll do give I you get? two choices. You get to pick one. Okay, fifty fifty. 50. 50. Mm -hmm. All right. Manola, Minerva. Whoa! So it's still probably that they just shortened it to Minnie. It's more like a nickname. Minova or Minerva or Minerva Min or Manola. Manola or Minerva. I'm going to say Minerva. You are correct. Yay! I got the ding, ding, ding. Yay! Okay. Mortimer and Minerva were their Mortimer original names. Mortimer and Minerva. See, I knew Mortimer. And, and because, yeah, I remember that. 
And of course, I also know his Mickey Mouse's predecessor was Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, which not a lot of people know about that one. Yes. He just recently, and we talked about that, didn't we? Yeah, uh-huh. I think so. He just recently got back into Disney uh, a couple of years back. So excited to have him uh, back. But yeah, okay. So I got okay. one point. I got, I got to keep track of my... Yes, keep track of your score. Let me get a piece of paper, keep all my tally marks. Oh my. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to own this. All right. Okay. I'm going to get a piece of paper. Question number two. There's 15 questions. I'm going to put a one at 15. So I got okay. one. Question number two. Hit me. All right. What was the working title for Fantasia? Oh man. Do you want options? Give me a second. So Connor would know this. I'm sure he would. a fan of Fantasia. You cannot phone a friend. So there's no phone a friend in this? Nope. Text a friend? Nope. Okay. Um... Yeah, give me some options. Okay. Was it multiple gifts? Fantasmic, the concert feature, Disney's Concert Magic, or the Sorcerer's Apprentice? There's those are three options or four? There's four. Same Fantasmic. The concert feature. The concert feature. Disney's Concert Magic. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Disney's Concert Magic. What it was, was it? called the concert feature. The concert feature. How boring of a name is that? Well, it was the working title. So oh, I mean, it was the working title. That was the working it. title. So that wasn't like what it was going to end up being. Okay. It's okay. Okay. That's, that's, you got I'm one, half and half. I'm halfway there. One good, one bad. Okay. You can redeem yourself with question number three. Okay. Okay. Wally, you've seen it? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay. Do you remember stuff about it? Yeah, some things. Okay. Wally had a favorite musical. What was it? Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know what it was then when I saw it. I All right. I'll give the... you some options. Yeah. Okay. You can guess. Okay. You've got a one in four, um, you know, one in four. Was it Showboat, Meet Me in St. Louis, Bye Bye Birdie, or Hello Dolly? Meet Me in St. Louis. Oh! Don't like that sound. What was it? <laughs> Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly. Okay. That's all right. Okay. You can redeem yourself with this next question. That's what you said the last time. Well, I'm, I'm hoping. No, I remember seeing it because it was like, I'm like, what musical is that? And I didn't realize it was Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly. Okay, so yeah. Disney is, is you know, got the cartoon thing going, but then they moved into live action. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy the cartoons or the live action better? They both have their value. Um, so, so far I've enjoyed... All of them, even Aladdin. Aladdin, you know, you you can't replace Robin Williams, but Will Smith, I think, did a good job in Aladdin. But do you remember their early live action? What do you mean the early live action? Well, like oh, you mean like back the... in the old days, like with, yeah. with Kurt Russell yeah. and some of those. Yeah, I remember some of those. Did you like him as much as the cartoons back then? No, I, I did not even look forward to him. There's very few, uh, you know, the absent-minded professor I enjoyed. That was fun. Um, I like the Shaggy Dog. I and the Shaggy fun. Dogs were fun, yeah. Okay. What was Walt Disney's first live action film? Oh, my goodness. Do you need options? I better. I better take options. Okay. Was it The Story of Robin Hood and His Merry Men, Treasure Island, The Shaggy Dog, or The Sword and the Rose? I'm going to say Treasure Island because I never heard of two of those. I was right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I actually enjoyed uh, Treasure Island. I Treasure still enjoy Island it. was fun. It was a good one. It was fun. Yeah. Okay. Now, I had a favorite Disney um, cartoon that I would watch after school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Remember, remember like DuckTales? DuckTales, Tailspin. Yeah, all those. What was some of the other ones that, that we used to watch? Um, Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Yes. So good. Okay. I love DuckTales, but I could never figure out Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Right. I still can't tell that you which. But there's which. red, blue, and green. Okay. So no. that leads us into our next question. Which one of Donald Duck's nephews wears green? Louie. Yes! Oh! That was man, a complete I had a out of nowhere guess. 33, 33, 33 <laughs> on that one. So I got three whole points. I, I, I don't know why. Something told me it was Louie. I think maybe Connor and I had talked about that at one time. I still can't tell them part. I couldn't tell you the other two, but no. one of them's red, one's blue. At least I knew the colors. I you know I know their names. All right, you're let's doing, do it. You're doing well. I got three out of four, right? Um, three out of five. Yeah, three out of five. So that's okay. Not... Alice in Wonderland. I've seen it, but it's been a while. Yeah. Okay, 
Now, there's a character in Alice in Wonderland that sadly I think I could relate to more than any other character. And it was the White Rabbit. Okay. Okay, because he's a little fussy, little, mm-hmm. you know, organized, trying to get everyone on time. Always he's late. always late. Yeah. Checking that pocket watch. Right. Well, the pocket watch actually has a time on it. Uh huh. What time was on the White Rabbit's pocket watch? 13 o'clock. No. Oh. All right. You want some options? Give me some options. Okay. <laughs> was it 1225, 1230, 1215, or 1245? 1245. Ah. 1225. Apparently, he had to be somewhere at 1230. And- he just See, I don't late. know why I thought he had just a weird time because, you know, he lived in Wonderland and times were weird. And so that's why I went with 13. Okay. Now, there is a part about Disney that you don't love. And it's all the, the songs. Not yeah. See, I just told you. There's like people will sing the songs like they know every word. And I'm I'm like, yeah. yeah. So. There's some songs I could totally skip. And over. some of them I'm like, no, please, please. Don't. And that's why I didn't like the live action as much, probably. Yeah. Because they did have, they would, you know, do some musical live actions. Now, Treasure Island wasn't, so it was great. But if it's live action and musical, I tune out. Yeah. Now, I can deal with cartoon musical a little bit just because I can still be dazzled by my, you know, by the colors and drawing and animation and all that. But There were some Disney quiz questions I looked up that was, like, really specific. Like, how many times did Simba say the word king in the I just want to be king song? And, oh, and how please, many? please, none of that. that no, no, no. Those are things that, like, only, like, people that should not be in society. Yeah. Those I, kind of fans. I did not ask you oh. that one. But, however, I do have this one. Okay. So, this is about musicals. Which Disney animated feature? has the most songs animated mm-hmm. you want some options let me think for a second okay let's just see if i can come up with my own mind i should get a bonus point for it first of all but um if you can answer can always... without options yes you get a bonus point yes most animated feature most songs Oh, wow. Yeah, You're, this is... Uh, there may be some. All right, give me options. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm here we go. struggling. Frozen, The Jungle Book, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to say, just because it's my favorite and I can handle the musical, so Jungle Book. No! Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland. Which I couldn't even tell you one song from Alice in Wonderland. I honestly. didn't know they sang. I wasn't even sure it was a musical. That's so crazy. I, I mean, like the marching cards and all that with chant and stuff, I think. But oh, see, painting, I am so familiar. Painting the Rose is Red. Well, see, I just thought that was a music. I, yeah, I guess. All right. Well, I'm doing horrible. I think I'm at like three out of seven now, which is failing. <laughs> so You're doing great. You're doing great. I hope people that are listening are doing better than me and then they can brag. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're doing great. I don't great. know. I don't, now see, I have to say Jungle Book, though, as far as music goes, like if I'm going to watch it, that's one cartoon musical I can watch. And I love because the songs are not just songs. They're fun. They're funny. They're entertaining. They got like, you know, really good. The King energy. Louis. When, yeah. Cap oh, Calloway. Wow. Cap Calloway. No, Louis Prima. Louis Prima did that so one. So good. And so, yeah, I mean, like I watched footage of the band recording that and literally the band is marching around playing their instrument. It was so cool. That's like, awesome. They, they got into it. And so that, that would be, um, I think that's know. what I guessed when I took the quiz. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I still have three points. You're doing great. No, I'm not. I well, have three I'm, out of seven, I think. Right. I'm encouraging you. Thank you for your encouragement. You're, you're doing, I'm doing okay. horrible. Well, we've been hearing the sad trombone sound way too many times. <laughs> okay. This one's a 50, 50 chance. Okay. Okay. Peter Pan. Yes. Okay. Peter Pan had a villain. The villain was? Well, uh, Captain Hook. Okay. Now, he was called Captain Hook because he had a? Uh, A hook. On what hand? Left. Yes. Yes. Because he was, (laughs) yeah, the right hand was the sword, I guess. I I honestly couldn't tell you. Well, that's why you had a (sighs) 50-50. But look, you you totally redeemed yourself. And I'm I'm at 50% right now, too. (laughs) Ironically, four out of eight. We're on, that was eight, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you're not keeping track. Okay. I didn't number these. Okay. Okay. I'm, sure I'm, I'm four out of eight, but. All right. So there's four. lots of Disney princesses, correct? Yes. And usually if there's an animated movie with a Disney princess, they're the main character. Right. And they talk a lot. Right. Except that's, in Cinderella. That's what main characters do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which Disney princess has the fewest number of lines? Cinderella. 
No? Oh, I thought I heard somewhere she hardly spoke in it. No, she spoke a lot. Maybe it was Snow White. Okay, here's, the, right. here's the options. Give me the options so I can at least try to reduce. Is it Cinderella? No. Snow White, Jasmine, or Aurora? Oh, Aurora. She's asleep most of the time. There it is. Uh, that's what it was. It wasn't Cinderella. <laughs> it was Aurora. Okay, I'm giving myself point for that because I need it. I got five points. <laughs> how, how do you get a point for that? You got it wrong. I got the, you gave me the multiple choice and then I got it right. Oh, fine. <laughs> fine. Okay, so here's another 50-50 question for you. Okay. Okay, we're traveling to the Lion King. Okay. And who's the villain in the Lion King? Scar. Okay. Now, why is he which I wonder why he was called what he was called before he got the scar? Because was he born with a scar? He's probably called like Fred or something. He's like, nope, we're changing your name to Scar. That's official. I okay, mean, go you ahead. know, Fred and Mufasa. Fred, you know, that just makes lion. sense. It's a very, it's a very African yeah, savannah lion name. Yeah. Brothers, Fred and Mufasa. Fred and Mufasa. Okay, but here's your question. Okay. Where is Scar's scar? On his face. Is that enough? No. Over his left eye. Yes. <laughs> yes, left hand for the hook, left eye for the, yeah. Because like the Latin for left is sinister and they're the sinister characters. Do you know that? Like the Latin word for left-handed is sinister. Really? You're welcome. Something like but that. But now I feel bad for all the people that are like naturally left-handed. I know, it's really almost like, nice. yeah. And they're not, it's just. They're not sinister. But it's like they're saying, you know, like, their left-handed scheme, that kind of thing. So oh. it's interesting. It's left eye, left hook. I wonder what else. Huh. Okay, here you go. Which of these Disney villains has a beard? Jafar. <laughs> I didn't even need a list. You didn't even need the list. <laughs> uh, I should get a bonus for that. I'm not going Fine. to, but I should. You get a bonus. Yay, now I've got eight points. If you're playing along at home and you got Jafar before I did, you also get, that, get a bonus. Go Have to, a point. No, yeah, you get a bonus point for that. Okay. Come on, Jafar. You got that little goatee that scriggles. See, I thought it was just a goatee. I didn't think it was a full beard. Well, it's still a beard. So I mean, it kind of is very thin. It comes down. Yeah, you know. I guess when it, so I started yeah. thinking about it, yeah. it did. Who? Come. What were my other options? Doctor Facilier. He is from The Princess and the Frog. Oh, uh, see, I've never seen that movie. That's, I haven't I know, either. I'm one of those weirdos. Sean Yu from Mulan, Captain Hook, and Jafar. Captain Hook has a mustache. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Snow White. Had some friends in her movie. Yes, the Seven Dwarves. Okay, now, now I've made you. I've quizzed you before on. No, no, no. I'm not going to make you name the dwarf because okay. that's too easy. I'm going to ask you instead, who was the first dwarf to speak in Snow oh, White? Oh my goodness! <laughs> now, let me guess. I have seven options to choose from. No, don't you, I? you have four options. Oh my goodness! Do you want them? Well, they all sang. In unison, so technically... Actually, one of them didn't sing. Who that's, doesn't sing? That'll be the surprise question. Okay. Okay. All right. Who was the first dwarf to speak? Was it Sleepy, Dopey, Doc, or Grumpy? Let's go with Doc. Oh. It was Grumpy. Grumpy. Which I was surprised by. Yeah. Well, I knew it wouldn't be Sleepy because he hardly talked. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it could have been Dopey. Dopey kind of hardly talked to <laughs> But I felt like it was, It should have been Doc. I figured Doc because he seemed to be the smart one. His name is Doc. He was kind of... He doesn't have a, a Y ending name. So I thought, you know, he's a set apart from them. He's going to be smarter. He's going to have no. more vocabulary. I guess but apparently grumpy. grumpy. Kicked it off. With some negative words, I'm sure. As a representation. What's this person doing sleeping in our house or whatever? Probably. Because then didn't, wasn't she like asleep at their house or something? They, I, I'm going to be honest. It's been a long time since I've seen Snow White. I haven't seen Snow White. We need to get on Disney Plus and start like watching some the of the things because we are horrible. I am anyway. Okay. Okay, when you took this test, how did you do? Um, I did okay. I got, um, I did better than you. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay, how here's bonus question. Are we done with the questions then? No. Like like the 15? You said you had 15. Yes, we still have, we have three more. Okay. Do you want your bonus question now though? Sure. It's about the dwarves. Which one didn't sing during Which Hi-Ho? Which one didn't sing during Hi-Ho? Go with Dopey. Yes. There it is. I got nine points. All right. Here we go. Beauty and the Beast. Mm-hmm. Gaston. Yes. The man's man. Right. Which I didn't like his character. I didn't like it in the cartoon. I didn't like it in the live action. Because he's uh, just a pain. I know, but apparently... He's a must-see when you go to the Disney parks. I know. I keep like, hearing that. He is the one you got to go interact with. He's just 
awesome. He does a great job. So kudos to Gaston. Well, speaking of things that Gaston is especially good at. Yeah. What does Gaston say he's especially good at? It's in a song. He's especially good at expectorating. Yes. Yes. Well done. <laughs> I remember that because, see, that's a fun song. And I remember the words from yes. that just because it's so fun and random. Maybe. And then as soon as he does that, he spits and it like ricochets all over the place. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Disney has a lot of horses in their movies. Yes. Okay. Sadly, you can't be in Disney movies because you're allergic to horses. That is true. I guess you can be drawn not allergic. But let's let's think about the animated movies okay. from Disney. Okay. The following are names of Disney horses yeah. except okay. Angus, Tenor. Maximus or Major? I'm going to go with Major. Oh, I know Maximus is. Maximus is, is the best is horse. from Tangle. Maximus is awesome. Maximus is my favorite. I don't know. Tenor. I liked Maximus better than Olaf. Yeah, I agree. Maximus I agree. was hilarious. I like now, Olaf is funny. I enjoy Olaf. He I was like the, Tangle. I, I'm going to be honest. Gonna, a lot of people are going to hate me. I don't like the Frozen. I don't know. I haven't either. seen the second one yet. The only thing I liked about Frozen was. Olaf and the fact that the the whole true love was just a sisterly love instead, and you know it helped. It made it less cliche, but I didn't enjoy it o overall. I didn't enjoy it. I know it sounds like I'm a horrible person. Now, I didn't like it either. But you're with me. So, but Tangled, we loved. Tangled is hilarious. Yeah. But so, yes, Tenor is not the name of a Disney horse. Okay, is it a Disney anything, or did you make that mm -hmm. one up? I didn't make it up. Oh. Okay. Last question. All right. It's an easy one. Well, if I get this one right, that means I, oh no, I've already got ten points. So okay. But I'm doing good. I got 10. And you got it's some like a, bonus points. Yeah. Well, two of those were bonus points. So I got so eight. you got eight. All right. Okay. Easy one. Okay. This is a softball question. Oh, my goodness. It's not. I know it's not. Which Disney princess said, well, serves you right, spoiling people's best dreams? This is an easy one? Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, yes, it, it is easy. Do it. Well... Serves you right, spoiling people's best dreams. Is this a movie we've watched frequently? Or I watch it frequently. I mean, I've, I've watched it recently. And this is a cartoon. This is animated. Correct. Did they make a live action out of it? Yes. I'm going to say Belle. Oh, man. Who? Cinderella. It's when, like, they were waking her up and oh. it was time to get ready and serve the stepsisters and her stepmom and yeah they were waking her up and she said that yeah to who the birds like they were chirping and, and you know waking her up because it was time to start her day and oh see i thought it was something that she said to lucifer the cat or something no she said it to the the birds that were waking did her they up. get wet or something or no they woke her up out of a dream oh and for the day, like, hey, it's time to get up. And she says, what? Well, so serves you right. Spoiling people's best dreams. See, I don't think. She said it. I know, but I didn't think she said it at that point. She might not have said it at that point. I'm yeah. second guessing it now, but she did yeah. say it. I think she said it to Lucifer. And because Lucifer was going after the mice or something. I don't know. No. But either way, I didn't get the point. I got 10 out of 15, and two of those happened to be bonuses. Mm hmm So, I stink. You have some, some things to learn. From, I have from to go Disney. watch some Disney Plus right now. I right mean, now. That's, that, I feel bad. I mean I, got, I mean, I got 10. It's not horrible. But that's the thing. I, I was talking to you about this, and I'm like, I really don't think I'm as much of a Disney fan as I let on. I love Disney World. I love going. I love the the whole atmosphere of it. Uh, I think I love Disney World more than I actually enjoy watching the Disney, some of the Disney movies. Uh, not that I don't enjoy the Disney movies because I love. I mean, they revolutionized animation and, yeah. and just how it is. I love Mickey Mouse. Love Goofy. Uh, but so, but you did better than me on that, huh? I did. I'm sorry. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, you did well-ish. I, I, I was surprised about the, the the Treasure Island being the first one. I wasn't sure. I wasn't really confident in that one. Yeah, I, I guess doing. the Shaggy Dog. No, I knew it wouldn't be Shaggy Dog. I knew that was... Because I think Disney was more known for doing classic stuff, like the fairy tales and all that. So it made sense for them to do a classic like Treasure Island before going into something new, new territory like I've Shaggy Dog. I've seen some really hard questions on... There was one question that was... Uh, 
um, what Disney feature was not based off the Grimm brothers and. Oh, it was like the first one not based off of. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there were some hard questions. Yeah. How many times did Pocahontas say these words in oh. a song? And um, I'm telling you, I, I didn't enjoy Pocahontas. I didn't either. Um, you should be you should be sad about that because you're a descendant of Pocahontas. Well, I don't know if our listeners know that. Friends, Kim Rankin is a descendant <laughs> of Pocahontas. She did her family tree, and I think twice you were able to find Pocahontas. So, like, yeah. I don't know what that means, but you were able to get yeah, you're a descendant or of John Rolfe and completely inaccurate record. That I'm sure, it could not. be it could be horribly inaccurate, but we're not going to say that you're a descendant of Pocahontas. I didn't, and enjoy you don't her like movies. her movie. Uh, one thing I didn't like about the movie. Um, it was a uh, what they call rotoscoping uh, animation. So basically, they had live action people act it out, and then they traced over the really. Yeah, and so obviously not the animals, but the and that's why they look so a little weird and really stiff. Oh. Whereas in most cartoons, even some of the human ones, like Hundred One Dalmatians, and and some of the ones that had humans, like Rescuers. I mean the the the. the Evil Lady and Rescuers, very rubbery, animated, yeah. you know, but in Pocahontas, they did it by basically tracing frame for frame, tracing the real people acting. It seems like it would be double the work. Um, well, it's not because it's easier to animate it because you're tracing as opposed to conceptualizing and coming up with all the uh, yes. s- stretch and squash kind of things and all that. So that's why, in a, you know, you're, you, it feels a little different when you're watching like the raccoon acting out things. And then you see Pocahontas and it's, it's like she seems really stiff and they all seem very you know stiff. Huh. And it's because, yeah, they did it. It's a different kind of animation. It's more realistic, but it's not nearly as fun because... You lose the squash, squash and stretch. I can't say that right. Squatch. And the, like the anticipation and and all those things that are a big part of like what Disney made famous animation famous for. They didn't do it in, in things like Pocahontas, which is why it bored me. And that sounds bad. The colors are really great. They did a great job on the coloring of Pocahontas. But the animation itself, I was bored with because you don't get that fun, rubbery, really animated look except in the animals. Huh. Interesting, huh? Well, look at there. There's our... You that's know, my education. big big bonus right there. Yeah. So that's why I have a problem with Pocahontas. Uh, it's, you know, that in the story just doesn't wow me that much. I would say know? I found it boring. It's but historically I didn't inaccurate, kind of. Pay but, attention to the but, uh, animation. I think she was the first Disney female to have a tattoo as well. Whoa. I think I remember that. I remember reading trivia about that. She, I didn't realize it was a tattoo till later because it's kind of like right by where her sleeve would be. But she's got a little tattoo on her arm. Huh. And. They say that Scandalous. I think she was the first first female, definitely the first Disney princess, but I think the first female Disney character that have a tattoo. Huh. Pretty cool. Well, look at that. I had some fun and I learned some things. That's right. You learned some things. And I hope you did. And seriously, though, if you've taken this quiz and you did better or worse, I, I, I just want to know how you did and see see where I stand among you. So reach out to us at Camptown Media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Tell us your score, how well you did. Remember, I got 10, but two of those were bonus. So, so you got um, eight. I got eight. But I mean, hey, I take my extra credit. You know? Okay. Uh, so, nice. Uh, but anyway, I think that's all the time we have. I think you and I need to go watch some Disney movies. That's right. And I need to brush up on my animation. And 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 I got to get into those classics. I, I really have. We've got Disney Plus. We've had it for six months now. Or whatever it came out. Still haven't watched like Peter Pan. Also, I think I've watched Jungle Book and that's it. And that's one of my faves. Well, so. let's go. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.